Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Make a love shout out all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. <laughs> Subscribe to like, share, don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification, 3, like, leave a comment, Subscribe. Four. Subscribe. All right. Today we're going to learn study about describing mathematical system, and this is for Mathematics Eight, Week One of the Third Quarter. Describing mathematical system, geometry has a big contribution in our society. It is the beginning of numerous easy and complicated designs of buildings, infrastructures, houses, churches, and many others. In this, this implies that we apply to the modern world what Euclidean theories in geometry have given, have been given. Euclid of Alexandria lived in Christ, 300 before Christ, was known as the father of geometry. He systematized ancient Greek and the Near Eastern mathematics and geometry. The mathematical system knows an, known as Euclidean geometry attributed to Euclid was described in his textbook the elements as a structure formed from one or more sets of undefined objects various concepts may, be, may or may not be defined and set of a well-defined relating these objects and concepts we have four types of mathematical system first we have the undefined terms the defined terms the actions are the postulates and theorems. Okay. What are undefined terms? Undefined terms are terms that do not require a definition but can be described. These terms are used as base to define other terms. Hence, these are the building blocks of other mathematical terms such as definitions, axioms, and theorems. Examples of undefined terms are point, line, and plane. What is a point? A point is, in your grade 7, no, a point is the most fundamental object in geometry and is represented by a dot, a name, by a capital letter. A point represents Position only, it has zero size, that is zero length, zero width, and zero height. So these are examples of points. What is a line? In geometry, a line is a straight, one-dimensional figure that does not have a thickness, and it extends endlessly in both directions. So this arrow here, you know, this represent that this line is not endless no or it's endless actually it extends endlessly no it doesn't end what is a plane in geometry a plane is a flat surface of two dimensions it extends endlessly and has no thickness. You can think of a piece of paper or the surface of the wall as a part of geometric plane. So the flat shapes in plane geometry are known as plane figures. So these are plane figures. What 
ear, what are defined terms? Defined terms are terms of mathematical system that can be defined use under defined or and using undefined terms. Example of defined terms are angle, line segment, and circuit. So these are um, name or defined using undefined terms. So terms are phrases which make use of undefined terms and previously defined terms and common words. So this we call defined terms. Post cast axioms and postulates. So axioms and postulates are statements assumed to be true and have no end for further proof. Consider these statements. The sun sets in the west. Okay, so who would question that is true? The Philippines is found in Asia, of course, it's a fact. And there are seven days of a week. True. Okay, so these are uh, axioms that do not need a further proofing. Okay. Axioms and postulates. Postulates or axioms are statements that may be used to justify the statements and a proof. So the axioms often used in algebra and geometry are the axioms of real numbers. So it is important that uh, we need to familiarize all the axioms or the properties of real numbers because we're going to use that on a proof, no, until later. Okay, theorem. Theorems are statements accepted after they are proven true deductively. The axiomatic structure of multiple systems follows a sequence, starting from a set of undefined terms, which are bases to define terms, then actions that are clearly stated, and from this, a theorem is derived through reasoning. Reasons or theorems are derived from the set of actions in an in an axiomatic mathematical system. So below are the flow of how the to arrive in the theorem. So here it is. No? So from undefined terms, undefined terms, it goes down to axioms and then to become a theorem. So there are so many ideas that still no, need to define before you have a clear picture of a theorem okay so let us see if what I have learned today fill in the blanks using the correct terms inside the box below blank are terms that do not have concrete definition but can be described on the other hand it too it requires definition so number one here the answer is undefined no? undefined terms okay these are undefined terms and number two those that require definition we call it um defined terms so this is number two one okay there are statements assumed to be true, even without proof, which are called axioms or postulates. However, the two has distinction in such a way that postulates, okay, postulates are often used in geometry, while the axioms, no, okay, the axioms are used in all areas of mathematics. When the statements used evidences are proven to be true, we call it as theorem. Okay, so theorem is number five. Okay, so I hope you get it. All right, guys, um, for questions, for clarifications, please leave your comment at the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. So, though, um, periodical exam for second quarter is uh, coming, so we need to review still. And this is an advanced study for your third quarter. 
and make a shout out everyone uh, to all my friends organic barcadas white is international team for this and white is a team solid family and all my whitey friends uh, my other friends before uh, when I was starting my youtube channel you, are, you were there supporting me the teacher face channel uh, Mr. Hell and then everyone there uh, I miss you all no hope to see you all again and to all my students, a uh, grade 8 connection, creativity and cooperation, all other grade 8 here. Please uh, just listen to the uh, lessons that we have here if you have, uh, if you don't have understanding or pagka hindi nyo masyado naintindihan, go back to our lessons here for a sort of review. Okay, bye bye everyone, see you all next time. And God bless everyone.